Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dylan Friedhoff, a solution engineer with Talon Software. We're here to talk about data stewardship as it applies to Talon's enterprise offering. The first part that we're going to talk about is data arbitration. In other words, a way of participating and collaborating and enhancing the data that is encapsulated in your data mart. So to show data arbitration, we're going to do an exercise where we create a campaign and that a campaign allows us to augment a column of data within a database table with the current gender of the people contained in it. The first step in this process is to use the Talon data stewardship to create a data model. As you can see, the data model consists of all the column names and information about them. In this case, you can have a description, the column name, uh, you can set minimum max, uh, any kind of validation for regular expressions. Now let's create a campaign. The campaign, we have to give it a name, and in this case, we'll call it Add Gender. Um, the description is just something to help uh, notify the end user what uh, they are supposed to be entering. So since we're going to be changing uh, the gender, we'll add that to the description. Um, the question is, what is the answer to this field within the data? And the question is gender, and the answers are male and female. The next thing we have to do is we have to specify who our campaign owners, and it's defaults to the admin who we're logged in as. You also need data stewards. Data stewards are the people that are have the rights to add and answer these questions. Uh, the next step is to have the data model, which is the, the customer data model that we just looked at previously. Uh, we can have a workflow, so the workflow is data governance to see who's done what and who's changed what. So once we have all of this, we have to create a job design within the Talent Studio that will populate the data into the data store for us to do the arbitration on. You can see that I'm going to use the marketing data from a flat file, and I'm going to populate the T data stewardship task output. The task output is a component that allows me to move data from any data source into the data stewardship council that we were just looking at and using. So now we can select the same campaign that we just created to denote that as this data comes in, that's the campaign that this should go to. We can look at the data schema that has been downloaded and it exactly mirrors the data model that we created. We can drag and drop the marketing data to the output, and then when we execute this, it will move all of the data to the data stewardship. So if we flip back over to the data stewardship council and go into our add gender campaign, we can see that now there are 20 unassigned tasks. And if we click on add gender, switch it to be the unassigned tasks, you can see that there's 20 rows of data that need to have the data filled in for the arbitration column. We have to assign these to end users or data stewards to do the work. So I assign the first 10 to myself and the next 10 to Jenny. Now that we have these assigned, I can go and look at the rows that are assigned to me. And now it's quite easy to fill an arbitration just by looking at the name Marty, Emmett, Biff, George are all males, Alain is a female, Claire is a female, Victor male. And once we fill these all in, we can validate our choices by hitting the Validate Choice button. And this submits them as resolved and back into the queue to be put into our final database. So to do that, we're going to start with a job for arbitration to upload. We're going to take and look at the schema that's provided to us. And you can see one column called TDS Arbitration. This field will pass in the index of the choice being made. And what I've done is created a lookup and a tfix flow input with male and female so that uh, we can link the arbitration column with our lookup. We do this in a tmap. We run our survivorship in as our main and fix flow as our lookup. The next thing we have to do is create an output. I'll just call it out one, drag and drop the columns that I'm interested in. Those are all the original columns. I also want to grab the arbitration once I've joined it to the index for the gender. So now I can take the gender, which will give me the physical male or female values, because that's what I want as my final input into the database. I'll just move it up so it's the second column in the data set. 
And lastly, we need to put this data somewhere. To do that, I'm going to grab a output to a local MySQL database, select the output, run the output that we created into there, give it the table name that I want this table to run into, and I'll call it with gender. Everything else should be set. I'll drop the table if it exists and create a new one. So before we execute this, we have one last step to think about. We're reading these rows in with the gender from the resolved area, meaning we've said that we've validated them. We need to delete them once we've read them in because we moved them from the entry point to the database. So once again, by using the T-Stewardship task delete and defining our campaign, selecting the priority of resolved, once we execute this, now we can guarantee that all the rows that uh, resolve will get deleted and we're also writing them to the log so that we can see them as uh, they're being deleted. So now you can see the output and if we switch over to MySQL and do a preview on the with gender you can see that now the second column gives us our gender values. So to summarize if you have the need of enlisting data storage in augmenting your data Talon's data stewardship absolutely will help in this govern processed. Tune in in our next part two where we talk about data resolution. Thank you.